Take Joy Bahar and Ana Navarro's The View remarks, which focus on the need for stricter gun control and the demographics of the culprits, 20-year-old white male, after Donald Trump's assassination attempt. As to do that, and I also need to say, I hope that at some point in this country, we do have a conversation about what is happening, because we can't just react when it is our side. What was this again? It was, you know, a 20-year-old lone wolf, white, whack job with easy access to a gun. And we have to have a conversation about that because it wasn't a drag queen. It wasn't an immigrant. It wasn't a pissed off liberal woman. This is and this keeps happening. And we need to react not as left or right, not as Republicans or Democrats. We need to react as Americans right. and we need to ask better. OK, I just want to add that uh, the, the uh, shooter, um, yes, he was a 20 year old kitchen worker from nearby Bethel, Bethel Park in Pennsylvania. According to a CNN reporter, senior law enforcement officials said that he bought 50 rounds of ammunition from a local gun store hours before the rally. Shouldn't that have been reported? Somebody buys 50, a 20 year old white guy. I mean, we've seen that many times now. Young white men with guns and nobody reported that he bought 50 rounds of ammunition. Well, there's, well, there's also a, a postmortem as well as the Second Amendment is important as the Second Amendment considers it a fundamental right that should not be violated by the actions of some individuals. The focus on the shooter's demographics has deviated from the actual problem of preserving constitutional rights. The emphasis on individual responsibility is a cornerstone of conservative values. The public has problems with the lack of individual responsibility and the current system's inability to enforce existing laws rather than the need for new gun control measures. Joy Bahar and Ana Navarro's remarks may seem politically motivated to use tragic events to promote progressive agendas and slander certain classes. The public is likely to argue that these investigations promote division and do not address the root causes of violence.